This is video number three in our Kipri T series. In the previous videos, we created an OD roughing and finishing cycle to machine our part. Now we're going to add some additional cycles to the program. The groove on the back end with a 50 thousandths by 45 chamfer and the half inch 13 thread. So to the conversational menu for OD grooving and we're going to, first thing we're going to do is give it a name. And then you can see we got a lot of powerful option choices uh, to be able to machine the groove. Uh, we could have a grooving cycle with peck roughing and a chip break or peck roughing and complete retraction or just straight roughing or we could have a cutoff cycle where we would part the part. We're going to select a grooving cycle, straight roughing because it's not very deep and we do want access to the corners. Again, powerful features inside Kipwear T. When I select the finishing menu, I get the options of doing some corner breaks or radiuses uh, to corner number one and corner number two. And you can see from our part that we have corner number two with a 50 thousandths by 45 corner break. So I'm going to select corner number two. 50 thousandths by 45 degrees. Again, powerful cycles, just the push of a button and we can do some powerful things in the grooving cycle. So let's put some numbers in and some dimensions for the groove now. Minus 750 for the back edge. The width of the groove is 150 thousandths and the width of the grooving tool is 125. Depth of cut in the z-axis, so if you needed to uh, widen the groove, uh, if it was really wide, you can determine uh, how much step over is going to be in z-axis. So let's put 50 thousandths in there. The diameter of the stock is a half an inch and the diameter of the groove is 250. And again, more power. If you were selected one of these pecking cycles, you could put the depth of cut for each peck. 50 thousandths, a clearance amount. 5 thousandths on the sides for finish and 5 thousandths on the diameter. And now some feed rates and surface feet. I'm going to go to Kipwear CSF. I'm going to go into my database for my aluminum my grooving cycle. When I hit the calculate button, Kipware CSF will look through my database and come up with the numbers that I need for surface feet in inches per rev. And when I hit the record button, it'll come into the form. So the conversational form is complete to do the grooving cycle. We're going to hit create program and OD turning grooving has been added to the program. So let's take a look at the plot and see what happens. And here we are in Kipware TP. We're going to plot all the cycles that we've created so far. And we've got our roughing, our finishing, and then our grooving cycle. So we're right on the corner here. Let me blow this up a little bit. You can see that we've got our chamfer and everything has been completed. So the plot looks pretty good. So the program's pretty good so far. Last cycle to add would be the OD threading cycle. So we're going to give it a name first OD. OD turning threading. This is a powerful, powerful feature in Kipware T. We can have either a straight thread, a single taper thread, or even a double taper thread with a lot of options for the user to be able to select in the threading cycle. We'll go through some of them even though we're going to do a simple half inch 13 thread. In our case we're going to use a full can cycle so we're going to use the can cycle in the machine. You also have the option of doing a limiting cycle where just the X steps you can select and when you select that you can see that we can have a percentage of cut so you can have a decreasing depth of cut as you cut the thread you can set a minimum depth of cut so that that minimum that uh, decreasing depth of cut doesn't go below a certain limit and you can specify a g-code to be able to run that cycle the last way to do it is if your machine doesn't support any kind of can cycles uh, you can do the longhand individual code to be able to do the threading. And again, you can select the percentage, the min, and then the threading G code. You can also do a straight thread, a single taper thread, or a double taper thread. And you can do a right hand or left hand thread. So a lot of powerful options uh, for the user to select in the threading menu. So we can, so we can do just a simple parts, or we can do much more complex threading. In our case, a full can cycle we're going to use, straight thread, and it's a right-handed thread. Z-axis coordinate of the front edge of the thread is zero. The length of the thread, we're going to do the length of the thread is 750. If we put it right about in the middle, that's going to be a 700 thousandths. 
the OD of the thread is a half an inch. A clearance amount will use 50 thousandths, number of threads per inch, so it's a half inch 13. And when we input the 13, the software will automatically determine the feed rate and it'll determine the depth of the thread. The clearance to start threading. Usually it's a pretty good idea to give the machine time to get up to speed and feed before it actually hits the cut. So we're going to put 100 thousandths in here. And the clearance at the back edge of the thread, uh, we've already programmed it to be in the center of the groove, so we're going to put zero in here. We're going to take one finish pass. The depth of the first pass I'm going to set as 10 thousandths. The angle of the thread is 60 degrees and then the cutting RPM. So we're going to go back to uh, Kipware CSF. We're going to get our aluminum. We're going to get a carbide threading tool. We'll calculate it and then put it into the form. So we've got 3438 for a cutting RPM. And all the other boxes are if you had selected uh, different types of uh, tapers for the thread, uh, but everything seems to be pretty straightforward for a half inch 13 thread. We'll hit the create program and then OD threading has been added to the menu. So now we have our four cycles, rough turning, finish turning, grooving, and then threading. When we come back in video number four, we're going to put those all together, create one big main program to be able to send to the machine.